Good afternoon everyone. We are out in the 100 degree weather today. We're gonna bale up a little bit of grass hay. And we've got the baler here on, it's just a WD, nothing special. But when I bought this tractor, it always kind of popped and missed and banged just a little bit. And I just wanna show you guys what we found yesterday with the timing here. You can see I got two different marks here. We'll put the distributor back where it was, and I'll let you hear what this thing was like. And then we'll, I'm gonna put a mark here just so I put it back right where it is now. Because it's incredible what timing alone can do to make this thing sound absolutely terrible. I was ready to go through all ignition parts, carburetor, etc., do a full tune-up when all it was was timing being off. So let's switch that. You guys can see what was going on. Second mark made. We will turn the timing back to what it was here. And at idle, it's not bad, but it kind of gets a chugging effect to it. And then obviously as throttle increases, that gets worse. back to where there you can really hear it starting to it almost sounds like it's either got a dirty carburetor or bad ignition so just wanted to share that I was kind of impressed I really didn't think changing timing was going to clean it up this well runs a lot better so i'm gonna keep bailing hay sorry about the wind guys but have a great day we'll see you on the next one well the old tractor didn't do too bad now we just get to have the fun of picking all these up finn you gonna help pick them up i doubt it Well, we'll have to go get a trailer or wagon pulled out here and get all these cleaned up. Jump some rows here. Even for the old baler, strings are still decently tight. Makes a nice tight bale. The alfalfa's coming back quick. Didn't quite get all of it picked up. We might have to run around once the bales are gone and see if we can pick this up so that that's not a problem when we cut next time. I am impressed with the bale it makes. Good heavy bale, holds together well. And there's probably about four acres of alfalfa here. We only broke one bale. So not too bad.